f of x equals 39. For the given linear function f, which table gives three values of x and their corresponding values of f of x? Honestly, this, this does not seem like a 19, a number 19 level program uh, question. I mean, <laughs> it seems like something that should have been much earlier. And that in itself can be confusing to students because you almost question, like, am I missing something? But you're not. It really is a sort of oddball. And trust me, there are some difficult ones coming, but they're almost like kind of <laughs> messing with you by making it a more lower level introductory function question. And it's just, I don't know, I find it kind of funny that they're they're being mean by giving you an, an, a relatively easier question later in the game. But let's just look at it. f of x equals 39. So when f of x equals 39, when we say f of x, it means if I plug in a number for x, what will I get? You can replace it with y when you're graphing. Because that's what they're saying. You plug a number in x, what is the output? f of x, that is your output. What do you get? What is your y value that you get? Same kind of way of helping you look at it. So, okay, so if f of x equals 39, it means no matter what x I put in, it's going to spit out 39 as my y value if I'm graphing it. So whatever I put in for x, it doesn't matter. Any number in the universe that I put in for x, my y value is going to be 39 f of x is going to be 39. Well, let's look over here at our options and see which one of those represents that. This one says, whatever value of x I put in, I get zero. Nope. B says, whatever number of x I put in, I get 39. Ding, ding, ding. Let's look at C and D just to double check. X says, depending on what I put in for zero, I get different values, multiples of 39. Nope. And same kind of thing here. I'm, I'm adding 39 or subtracting 39 each time. Nope. It's that, it's that straightforward, honestly. f of x equals 39 means whatever number in the universe you plug in for x, you get 39 as your value for f of x or y, and that is b. Again, if you are familiar with functions and what they mean, then this is a very straightforward problem that doesn't require any calculations and it's very strange to see it at number 19 and it can throw you off because you're almost like wait am I missing something shouldn't I be doing some math no not at all be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math related merch worksheets classroom decor and more and if this was helpful or useful in any way please like share subscribe you know the drill thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a great day see you later bye